<clears throat> okay, right, it's been far too long since we sat down and had this chat, and there's a reason for that, is uh, main one being I've been extremely busy, the golfing season has well and truly kicked off, but also lots of things have been happening, and I'm pleased to say that they're all very positive things, and the majority is all down to obviously the support of the channel from you people who watch every day. I've been saying this for quite some time, anything that positive that happens, uh, to me, um, or the channel, however you want to word it, is basically down to the support I get from the people who watch. So I'll start off with a thank you and probably finish with one as well. But this is what we're going to have a look at. First of all, I want to talk about the Taggers target board. I'm going to scan across now. As you can see, the names have increased. They just keep on coming in. I'm doing my very best to keep on top of it. If you have a look at this board. If you can, if your name is not on there, then it should, and it should be, then stick it back down in the comments below. I apologise if I've missed you, but there's a great video to catch up uh, on anything that I've missed. Because the problem I'm having, there's info coming on via Twitter, from Instagram, on different videos. So I am struggling. I think I'm pretty much there. I might have missed out the odd one or two people, but in the main, it's been absolutely brilliant. But what you'll also have noticed is the amount of white tipex that is on the board and some red numbers which basically means people have been cut it's acting as a huge inspiration and i clearly take full responsibility for all handicap reductions over the last three or four weeks i can't same be said for anybody that's actually gone up in the handicaps so i'm only taking credit for positivity but i'm going to read some names out very very quickly otherwise we could be here for a while the movers in the last couple of weeks since we last did this video. Bill Diaz, Brian Treadwell, Dave Richard, Dave Strings. Dave Strings, I can't amend your handicap because I've lost the details of what it should be amended to. So can you stick it down in the comments below? Alan Jordan, BT at home. John Stewart, unreal, down to 2.4. John Stewart. Keith Pudney, grumpy golfer. Lee Boy, Wayne, Martin Short, Tony Penny. Uh, Brooks Crab, Crab, hmm. Brooks Crab Usanos. Oh, well, I got that bit right. Colin Bennett, Trotter, nineteen sixty-six. Kay Shield, Gary Callahan, Paul Bear, Eddie Latiak, Friday Bass. These names obviously come from some names that come from Twitter and what have you. Don V, Garth Oliver, Carl Brady, Steve Holiday, cut again. Chris Berry again, unreal knock he had the other week, uh, a gross of 66 to come down to 4.8 and lower my handicap again, has also had a reduction. So well done to everybody who has managed uh, and achieved a reduction. Keep on going, you're doing far better than I am because I am not budging, if anything, I've crept up slightly the wrong way. But we don't talk about negativity on this channel. Anyway, next thing, moving on very, very quickly. If you've watched the last two videos, you'll have noticed I am wearing a certain brand of clothing and it is Bunker Mentality. Uh, and I will be wearing their clothing for the next, certainly for the next three months. We've had a little bit of a chat and we've agreed that's what I'll do for all the videos and then we'll see where it leads from there. Um, give you the background on it very, very quickly. Over the last probably six months or so, a couple of companies that were really interested in the potential of wearing their clothing on videos which was brilliant, um, but there were certain things. I never ever wanted a brand that had an interest in golf clubs. I never wanted any sort of any conflict whatsoever because I love this idea of remaining completely independent on the club reviews. So again, Bunker Mentality ticked that box. They just make clothing, head to toe clothing, um, apart from shoes. So it's literally trousers, belts, caps, t-shirts for off the course, um, what do you call these things? Mid layers, jumpers, whatever you want to call them, polo shirts. It is a real good, solid range of product. I'm gonna stand here like a salesman, but I do wanna show my appreciation for their support. Once again, this is down to you lot following the channel. Um, but the thing I will say, uh, honestly, is that I would never wear anybody's clothing or promote any kind of product that I didn't fully believe in personally. So the first thing for me is I had to like the product, I had to believe in it, and I had to be confident in it. And like I said, honestly, uh, be prepared to wear it. I would not go out looking an absolute, in my opinion anyway, uh, 
in anyone's clothing unless it looked right. And I'm more than happy, I love it. The only thing I would say is I would literally go out and buy this and wear this clothing. It is really nice golf gear, real attention to detail, Fabrics are really good for golf, and honestly, I can't speak highly enough for what I've seen so far. I've spread a few across the garments, uh, across the back of what they've sent in so far, and uh, you'll see, like I said, I'll be wearing this on the videos moving forward for the foreseeable future. Um, so yeah, really pleased with that, really. Yeah. We'll still be doing, mixed in with, the average golfer stuff. So you'll still see the caps and the hoodies and all the rest of it. We'll still be doing all that uh, in the videos as well, uh, mixed in with this bunker mentality. Right. Stop for breath, because I'm rather excitable at the minute. Man vs Golf Hole videos, I'm loving doing them. I hope you're enjoying watching them. Got a little bit excited about a bunker shot a few weeks ago, which was a great way to finish a video. Not always uh, gonna end on such a high. The recent one was uh, equally as enjoyable for me to film, but not quite uh, such an epic ending. Um, more of them planned through the summer, but some real big ones planned in the upcoming weeks. And that is because, but realistically, two major things on the horizon. Um, in a week or so's time, 10 days time, I'll be doing Man vs Golf Hole Challenge at the Belfry. Now, the Belfry, the three holes that I will choose, I think are gonna be the sixth, the 10th, and the 18. 10th and the 18 are very obvious because of their iconic status in world golf, and namely for historic reasons in the Ryder Cup. There's been some real drama on 10 and 18. Most people will know the Belfry for those two holes. I've played there a few times over the years. Um, it's changed hands a few times over recent years. And I, as I understand, there's a lot of money in it at the moment. The course is supposed to be in very, very good condition. But like I said, it's an iconic man versus golf hole challenge. And I cannot wait to, uh, to play that and uh, hopefully we'll get a good video out from there and uh, you never know, I might chip in from a bunker. Although I doubt it very much. Um, next is I've been working with uh, a company, a tour operator in Ireland called Lynchpin Tours. Big thank you to uh, Lowell Courtney if he's watching this video. Uh, and if you're interested in planning any trips to Ireland, he's a perfect uh, company to deal with. Bespoke trips, knows everybody and anyone over in Ireland and he's helped me out big time in organising what is going to be. Seriously, it's like a bucket list trip. Um, I spoke to him um, only going back a couple of weeks ago, had the idea of where I would like to have gone and basically the, the, the gist of it is this. Um, upcoming in Ireland is the Irish Open and that's in July. That's at a course called Ballyliffin. Um, there's two courses there, the old course and Glashidi Lynx. Glashidi Lynx has got the Irish Open in July and I will be going to play Glashidi Lynx. I've played it before, played it a few years ago, four years ago. Looking forward to going back. It'll be at a time when I would imagine grandstands are up, you'll be playing off mats maybe, so uh, it'll be in pristine condition and I can't wait to experience that. Um, and the other uh, course that is really well known and I cannot wait to get to is Royal Port Rush and I can't wait to play there it has got the open next year so it's the open venue for 2019. Four years ago on my last trip to Northern Ireland uh, I had to I was staying in a hotel which overlooked Royal Port Rush and unfortunately I couldn't get on that course and I had to stay I stayed for four days looking at that golf course just wanting the opportunity to get on and I promised one day I would go back and I'm back in uh, well, it's week commencing the 11th of June. I'm in Ireland for a week, but apart from those two courses, I'll also be at uh, County Sligo, which is Ross's Point. Um, I'm at Ardglass, which is over in Belfast. And I am at, what's your, I'm at the, again, can't believe I nearly forgot that one, Castle Rock, which is just, it's not reopened as such, but they've just done some major works at Castle Rock and again not a course i've played before but it's honestly these are those courses are five courses that i would literally give a right arm to play and i'm going to play them i'm not going to give me right arm though and i just i can't believe the trip's been pulled together in a matter of weeks came out of nowhere like i said massive thank you to lyle courtney um and yeah ireland is is a it plays a I'm, my surname is Sullivan, for those of you who don't know, so I'm of Irish descent, 
uh, from many, many years ago. Uh, my family originates from there, so I love Ireland for a number of different reasons. I love it for uh, Guinness as well, because I do like a drop of Guinness. I love it for everything that goes on in a place, uh, but I love Lynx Golf. Lynx Golf in Ireland with Guinness, it just doesn't get any better than that. I cannot wait to go and I cannot wait. I'll be doing, hopefully, fingers crossed, I don't know about timings to film certain things because like I said, it's uh, I've got access to these courses. They know I'm going to film. Whether or not I can get in Man vs. Golf Hole Challenges, I really hope I can because they again will be unreal. I can't wait to do the, the Bally Liffin in particular and the Port Rush ones because I want to give you a real feel for what we're going to be watching or a lot of us will be watching in a month's time at Bally Liffin and certainly in a year's time um, at Royal Port Rush and the history and all the rest of it behind it. I, I can't wait. Like I said, I'm going to end it there. Uh, it's more of an update video. It's more about me telling you that things are going particularly well at the moment. Um, I don't like to, I'm not gloating, I hope it doesn't come across that way. I just really am excited about what's going on, uh, but I'm always grateful and I'm always real. I always realised that, like I said, these opportunities come because you people are watching and supporting the channel. So, honestly, I really do appreciate it. Thank you. So, what we need to keep on doing, we've got Taggers Target Board. Keep on giving me all the information from that. Let's see if we can keep that growing. Keep on commenting on videos. Keep on liking videos. Stay subscribed to videos. And that's all I can ask and um, offer my genuine appreciation. Right, keep an eye out for some videos. I'm looking down here. I'm just about to put out a video for the TaylorMade High Toe Wedge. Um, I've got a TaylorMade 2 iron, the UDI driving iron video coming out. And if you haven't caught up on them man versus golf holes, then please go to watch. Other than that, I will see you very, very soon on Tioplo TV. And um, that's me done.